Now, fertilizer is a substance added to soil to improve plants' growth and yield. It was first used by ancient farmers. Over time, fertilizer technology has become more refined, with fertilizer technology developing significantly as the chemical needs of growing plants were discovered by modern technology. Nisi Imano with more in the fertilizer making process. On this exciting episode of The Process, we take you behind the scenes to witness the fertilizer making process. Fertilizer has been an age-long product, mainly from natural organic material like manure compost or other animal and plant products. And what we realize is that, unfortunately, the traditional methods of using fertilizer have, have been not as great as it was. With the advancement of technology, farmers now have embraced inorganic fertilizer that is made up of chemical components that contain necessary nutrients. Blended fertilizer specialized fertilizer which is crop specific and soil specific if you're growing for instance potatoes or coffee or tea a, a blend specifically for that crop so which is which is really a, the latest type of technology that has come into this country but how exactly is fertilizer made the fertilizer making process begins when the raw materials arrive at the factory warehouse we have different raw materials we have the likes of urea likes of DAP, the ammonium phosphate, we have the likes of SOP, the likes of MOP and filler. Filler is the lime. So when the raw materials come, we, we, we load them in the loader. That is attached to a forklift for ease of transport of the materials for the next phase of the process. This machine, we have five hoppers main hoppers, the hoppers we use. So these five hoppers, we have five different raw materials. Hoppers are the machines that are used in the mixing process. The hoppers each have load cells that detect and calculate the quantity of the raw material that has been poured in. The hoppers open according to the percentage required and it's very accurate. If we need 30, 30 kilograms of ammonium sulfate, we add 30 kilograms of urea, we add 15 kilograms of DAP, it opens correctly according to the percentage. Once the raw material has been poured and mixed in, we head to the control room to initiate the mixing process. Okay, we are in the control room. This is where we operate the machine. Here, each fertilizer recipe is fed into the machine with attention to specific details tailor-made for the different types of soil. The creation of recipes depends with the pH soil for the customer. The customer, for example, from Laikipia County, the pH soil from, for Laikipia County is not the same as the one in Nakuru County. So we create the recipe according to the soil pH. Once that is done, the operator starts the machine that grinds the raw materials. Next, the mixture is discharged onto the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt then ferries the product to the bagging section of the factory. Here is where we do the bagging. Eh? So the bagging system is having three sensors. We have low-level sensor and high-level sensor. This, this helps in reducing overflow for the bagging unit so that, so that we, cannot, we cannot have spillage. Yeah? At the packing section, the machine automatically weighs and pours the fertilizer into bags that are manually fixed onto the machine. It's set. For example, you're doing the 50 kg bags, the 25 kg bags, and the 10 kg bags. So for the 50 kg bags, they start bagging. The bags are then filled up with fertilizer and moved directly to the threading section for sealing. Then it's then carried by, uh, by this belt, the conveyor belt, and then the guys at the end, they pack it in the, pa in the pallet. From here, they are ferried to transport to be deployed to the market. Reporting for KBC from Industrial Area in Nairobi County, Amnesty Imano.